All right, so today is pretty simple. We're going to be doing an unboxing on the uh, AEM wideband. Picked up for our nitrous projects we're going to be doing. So we um, got some bung welding bungs we're going to weld on some cars and uh, get that all staged up, you know. But um, kind of trying to do it the right way. We got a standalone fuel system. We got different, I mean, I got jet Gazor. I mean, it's crazy. I got all sorts of stuff. But uh, we're going to be trying to have some good fun with some nitrous junk cars is pretty much what's going to be. But uh, we're going to see how it goes. Any good tune, of course, is going to have a good air fuel ratio, right? So, uh, Buddy Philip wanted to split this with me because he's going to be using it to do some carburetor tuning, which is always good for that, too. And uh, this is the newer model. Where is she at? There it is. The 300 uh, X Series. So, I guess it's a newer model. I don't know how old. I don't know how old it is. I haven't looked at Y bands. Most of the cars I get already have them in there. But um, first thing you open the box is this. You see the gauge. Now the difference I've been told with the older version versus this version is you get uh, two more decimals or you get point two decimals. You know, two spots behind the decimal versus the old one was two was was only one. Um, that really don't matter. So anybody knows it's not that important. The box is kind of a pain in the butt. My plan, I guess they always want to unfold it all. Yeah, that's that's that that's part of that piece. So on the back side here we got some thumb screws here. Alright, so the phone totally screwed me on that. The camera totally screwed me on the whole entire unboxing deal, but we'll still follow through. Looked like I was talking about this dicky. Of course, uh, O2 sensor here. Uh, <clears throat> it's not labeled. It has no Bosch. Usually it's like a laser etch Bosch symbol or something on there. I don't see none of that on there. For you guys uh, looking for the sensor, there's the part number. Um, there's the fancy connector. Yep, that's pretty much covers that. Come with an O2 bung, welding O2 bung. This one's a stepped one, which is really good. Because um, when you drill the hole, you just drill it to the, the smaller size in there. And then you slide it into the hole, bolt it up. It, nice, it melts really nice. This is uh, the preferred style I like. Here's the gauge. Like I said, this one's supposed to have two, uh, two spots after the decimal versus the older style. Nice and thin. There's the back of the gauge. Uh, easy, you know, pigtail connector. Like that set up. Uh, here's your holder for the back. It's plastic, which I guess is good if you're trying to save weight. Brass nuts. Cheap uh, butt connectors, of course. Here's the harness. There's your wires you hook up. The end there, it plugs into the back of it. That's one of them. I'm guessing that's your power. And this is going to be your O2 sensor harness. Plugs into your O2. It goes in the back side of the gauge there. Pretty nice setup. I mean, realistically, pretty happy with it. Uh, the box is a mess to open up because I got this all connected and I don't know why they would design it that way, but they did. Uh, I have to cut nothing, but anyways, um, like I said before, we're going to use this to do some tuning. But uh... <clears throat> as always, if you like the video, hit that like button. Always subscribe. We're going to be doing some good stuff here in the channel here recently or coming up. Uh, we got some bottles filled today. I filled another bottle there. Blue one's full now, so that's awesome. But uh, we're trying to get trying to get some things going. So I'll see you in the next video.